Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have gotten a lot of requests for more rankings. Today we have a rankings video and it's something that never has really been at the top of my priority to do. But um, I've seen it on a few other channels so I think I'm going to do it. We will be ranking, as you saw in the title of course, all the NHL goal horns. It took me a while just because there's a lot of ones that I don't think are good and a lot of ones that I think really are um, next level. So anyway, let's get right into this one. We're starting um, with a lot of Canadian teams. Hopefully that's not a um, spoiler, but we'll start with the Winnipeg Jets and listen to this one. a deafening type of horn if you ask me just the what the tone it is in and the song's not that good either that's why they fall into the final spot now i'm gonna have to find these it might take me a while up in between each one um next we have the edmonton oilers coming in in 30th place and this one just doesn't have a great ring um or sound to it as well but it's still not not um nearly as bad as winnipeg <laughs> Yeah, so real high sound, and it just doesn't fit good. Doesn't really have a real song, just really a siren in the background. Edmonton's just doesn't, doesn't really flow, is the word that I would use for that one. Doesn't really flow. Um, next, we're sticking with their theme of Canadian teams here. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. And we head on down to Montreal, where we have the Montreal Canadiens coming in at number 29. <laughs> The song's one that can really get the fans into it, but this is really a horns video and it just does not fit that great. And it's high pitched. The Canadian teams really love the high pitch sound, and I'm not digging high pitches. We're still with Canadi um, Canada teams, and now we're gonna go to Ottawa with where we meet the Senators. <laughs> Another high pitched one. There you go. No one that doesn't really have a song, just a chant that the fans can get into. But again, a high pitched horn, and that's a lot of these high pitched ones are just really falling in this top, these um, top of the list. I just don't really dig them. I don't know why, but they just aren't music to my ears. They're more definite music to my ears. Um, okay, now we get out of Canada for now. And we go down to Tampa Bay with the defending Stanley Cup champs, the Lightning. And I really like the idea on this one. They just did not quite execute perfectly. Sorry about that. So, oh, sorry about that. that. No, never mind. That was the next one. Sorry. Um, anyway, I think the song goes pretty good. Just the horn mixing it with like that lightning kind of whatever you want to call that sound doesn't work out for me. Um, definitely not on my top priority of horns. Now we stay out of Canada um, and we go to New York. Will it be the Islanders or the Rangers? It will be the New York Islanders. Listen to this one. I 
I think the song's really good here. Um, horn's just a little too, like, I feel like complicated. Just, it, se it seems like they're trying to mix a lot too, too many sounds. But, um, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, but, um, yeah, too many sounds I feel like are being mixed there. So, um, yeah. Um, Islanders in at 26. Now, 25. Um, we're sticking around New York, and what's the closest, um, team to New York that's not in New York? It is the New Jersey Devils. Um, so let's listen up to them coming in at number 25. <laughs> starting to hear a theme and now um that was the end of that that was not the islander that was not um the devil's horn there at the end but you're trying to see a theme um all the high-pitched ones um are the ones that i don't like and coming up next we have another high-pitched one from another place by new york i don't know what's up with these new york teams and what is by new york city still in new york however um we have the Buffalo Sabres, if I can find it here. Where did I put it? Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. Um, okay, there we go. Here we go. Buffalo Sabres. I pitch. There you go, Sabres. Another high-pitched one. Song doesn't really match. Another one that doesn't just seem like it has the flow. Um, Buffalo Sabres in at number 24. Number 23 to the music city of Detroit in the Central Division. The Detroit Red Wings. Here we go. about you but i love sitting here and listening to these horns go on to some of my favorite things in the nhl this one's not one of my favorites so that's why it finds itself at number 23 the other high pitched one song doesn't just seem like i don't know it just doesn't i don't know what it just doesn't seem like it fits well together and doesn't really work in my opinion um okay now we go to number 22 back to some canada teams and you may be trying to use process of elimination, which ones we have not done yet. And if you guess the Calgary Flames, you are correct. Because we have not done them, and that is who is in at number 22. If I can get it here, there we go. <laughs> middle of the pack here and i feel like the next ones coming up are pretty darn good so i'm just keeping them at number 22 i think that's a good spot for them let's go back to the central division um specifically into carolina where we have the hurricanes let's listen up to theirs Now, this one's a different story. Low pitch, but I think it's a bit too low for my liking. I don't know. I like also ones that kind of resemble something, and it would have been cool. I don't know how to describe the pitch, but I think that the, the Hurricanes could have done something a little more special here, but it still works out fine. Song works out good here for me, so that's why they're middle of the pack, number 21. Um, and let's go to number 20. Where we, drum roll please, find the St. Louis Blues. 
Let's listen up to them. Okay, I'm going to say this. The horn is absolute. I mean, the horn is pure, pretty good. The song absolutely sucks. I mean, the song is just so, like, of course they're in St. Louis and they're named the Blues, so you want it to be blues-themed. But it just doesn't seem like one that will energize the fans and really get them into the game, which I think your song needs to have in your horn. And that's not what the Blues has. But they're still number 20 in the middle of the pack as well. Number 19, let's go to, guess where? L.A., where we meet the Los Angeles Kings. Let's listen up to their horn. About middle between high and low. So if you didn't hear me, it's kind of in the middle between high and low, bitter on the higher side. Song works out good here for me, and it's just an average one. They find themselves at number 19. 18, this one was really hard. I don't know if I wanted it to be, but I don't, because I like, like it in some parts. I hate it in some parts, but I think it's really good overall and average overall. And they find themselves number 18, San Jose Sharks. Really quick before we listen to the rest of this, I like the idea going with the bullhorn here because it's like a bull shark. So I think that's what I'm looking for for teams kind of putting part of their team into the uh, horn and song. Song works good here as well. I also like that other dose of horn. I think I really could have put this um, lower my list because I think it really is good for the Sharks. But I don't know why I put it at 18. I think there's just better ones. I, I think I might flip-flop these if I would do it again. And our next one and uh, this one. Next, we have the New York Rangers. I think that the Sharks and Rangers could be flipped together. Too, so. better than this one other than those ones I have in the 27, 28, 29 spots. I don't know. I think there's just something a little different here that makes them up a little lower um, in this list. Let's go to number 16 to Boston for the Bruins. Let's listen up to them in the number 16 spot. fans into it which I like here horn a little low but I think it fits good with the Bruins and I think this one goes good as well let's talk let's go to another pretty low one um and Anaheim with the Ducks who are right halfway through the list at number 15 let's listen to Anaheim's is not terrible whatsoever and I think it works really fine I think I like the low idea here I think it goes well with the Ducks and I think it just fits the team good and that's why they find themselves halfway through the list at number 15. Number 14 a lot of people hate this some people like it really middle of the pack and a lot of people and it's middle of the pack for me as well. Number 14 Washington Capitals. <laughs> Jets there at the end. Ooh. All right. 
right, let's talk about the Capitals. A lot of people hate it. I kind of like the idea with the song. It, uh, I think it flows good with the horn. Everything just kind of somehow fits together here for Washington, in my opinion. But still, they could have done something just a little more special. I don't feel like they quite have here. Um, they're finding themselves number 14. Number 13, let's go back to the Central Division with the Blue Jackets. Now, they do something that you can't hear in this one, but they shoot off a cannon to do with the Blue Jackets. And I really like that um, celebration there. Um, so, yeah, let's um, listen to the Blue Jackets. like this song here. I really do. I think it will really get the fans on their feet singing, oh, 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 or however that goes. I think it was way off rhythm there. <laughs> but um, I think it really goes good with the fans here. And um, it could go, it could go top 10, top five even. But I think 13 is a good spot. Um, but I really like their goal celebration there in Columbus. Um, number 12, out to the desert, Arizona Coyotes. There's, I could have put a little higher, um, really could go either way, um, I like in some parts, hate in some parts, again, it's kind of like, um, the Capitals one, um, but let's listen to the Coyotes. <laughs> I like that howl of that coyote there. Goes good with the team. I think everything fits with this one, and that's what really helps it get up to number 12 there. So I think that one works. Number 11, one that a lot of people don't like, kind of like the Capitals. Some people do like, uh, but I'm going 50-50 on this one. Could go lower, could go higher. Let's listen to the Vancouver Canucks at number 11. <laughs> I'll, another one that can get the fans into it. Hey, 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 they'll go. And horn sounds pretty good here. A lot of people don't like it. I'm 50-50 on this one. But I think it's above the Coyotes with the sound of it. Um, and I think the Canucks are really good here with their horn. Getting into the top 10. Back-to-back uh, -back Canadian teams here finding themselves in the 11 and 10 spots. If you're doing process of elimination, we have not done the Maple Leafs yet. That's who's coming in at number 10. I think the horn sounds fantastic here. Song could be a little better, a little more upbeat. But I think the horn is right between high and um, low. Great sounding horn there. And that's number 10. Number 9, Aval um, the Colorado Avalanche. Another one that could really that's really in between with their sound. I think it's a little more low than high. Uh, but I don't mind the, the type of lowness here. And the song fits pretty good as well. <laughs> this one I really think it I think this one is pretty good and could be anywhere from top 10 to top 5 but I definitely think it belongs in the number 9 spot um could be like 7 6 or 7 but I really like it here number 9 good spot there for the avalanche back to the central division for the Carolina Panthers Carolina where are you step on down um did I say Carolina Panthers Florida Panthers, come on down, you are number eight. Let's listen to them.
When I was watching their playoff game last night, I loved hearing this horn um, four times in that game. The part where it goes, oh, that's a good song. And um, fans, I'm just picturing them getting into it. I saw it last night in the game. Really good horn here down in Florida. They're number eight. Number seven. Where will we go next? Let's go to, if I can find it here, Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Penguins in at number seven. Let's listen to their horn. back to San Jose there at the end. Anyway, I think the Penguins really fits their flow of the team. Goes good with the Penguins. Kind of a, like soft sounding good, just like Penguins are. And I think that one goes good and just flows well. I said that a lot in this video, but it does flow good. Um, okay, next one. Right next there. Let's go to Philadelphia for the Flyers. Another one that a lot of people dislike. A lot of people like I'm on the liking side of this one. That's why they're number six. All right, so there's the Flyers, number six. I think the horn goes good. Song could improve, but another thing that I, I'm saying a lot of things I don't like about this one, but I do like a lot of things. Horn sounds really good here. Um, good tone, but... Um, I think, I don't really like the one blast. I like the three that go, mmm, mmm. They just went with one long one. I don't mind that, though. Since the horn does sound good, it still fits perfectly fine, so that is all right. Now we're getting into the top five, and some of these have good songs and good horns to dance to. So I am going to get on my feet for these last few. Maybe my knees so you can still see me in the camera. I guess I could move it up a little bit. There we go. Um, but um, so number five, where will we go? Stop right there. Lost Vegas Golden Knights. Step right up. You are next. This one's similar to the Sharks in a lot of ways, I feel. But there's just something about that horn that just sounds a bit better than the San Jose Sharks. And that little edge edges them quite a few spots above the Sharks here at the number five spot for the Vegas Golden Knights. This is another good one. Um, I really like the song here. Another one with just one horn blast, but the song can fill up for that right there. Let's go to... Dallas, where we have the Dallas Stars. And here's the song, which is what I like. Stars, Dallas, Stars, Dallas, Stars, Dallas, Stars. That song really pumps the fans up, and that is a big part in this horn that gets them up to the number four spot. Let's go to number three. Where will we fall? Minnesota for the Wilds horn. And uh, right here on my list, I um, put song in all capitals with an exclamation point because their song, I really like here. Horn sounds really good as well. It's that jump song, and I really like that. When it goes around the Wisconsin um, football stadium, it sounds really good, and it goes really good here with the Wild Horn, and that song helps them get up to number three. Let's go number two. This is not a biased pick, and I think when you hear this, you will agree. I think that this horn sounds great. Let's go to my Blackhawks. Listen up. <laughs> Dang, I didn't go 
know for the rest. Anyway, it's a great song. Um, really gets fans into it. Great horn right between that high pitch and low pitch, right in between. And tell me what you think about this one, because some people might think I'm biased, but I don't really think I am. I think the Blackhawks is a great horn. Let's go to number one, where we love the horn, and this will be one that I'll be singing along from long two, I guess. And um, let's see if I can find it here, because I just love this horn. I want to listen to the extended version of this one. So I'm going to go to a different thing here. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this up. This is a great one. I don't know if you're going to know what it is. You might not find it out right away. But I think I'm going to have to tell you. And I'm going to describe it beforehand. The Nashville Predators coming in at number one with their goal horn. Their horn is great. Their song is great. And that gets them to the number one spot. Drum roll, please. Here we go. I love it. I want some more of it. I tried so hard. I came back to me. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I'm just going to have this playing in the background for the outro. It's just so good. Tim McGraw Country Artist fits so great with the Nashville Predators team. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please share your thoughts about the rankings in the comments down below. And hopefully you enjoyed yet again. Again, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.